Hello, welcome to Redeeming Thunder. Shalom. I'm here to give the second part of a prophetic dream I received. Um, I believe it was 6, 7, 17, 2024. This dream is in regards to entering a compound after a tunnel. If you go back into the um, um, videos there, it's the one that looks like the Matrix and he's fighting. It's a, the, the photo that's there. It's fighting these and dodging. Um, it's, um, it's regarding that dream. So this is the more detailed and at the end of the dream I kept hearing six chapter 6 11 through 20 and when I researched what that was it it's Ephesians 6 17 through 20 and it's a very important uh, few verses so it talks about to put on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit and it talks about I'm paraphrasing here it talks about praying in the spirit at all times with all requests sometimes you pray for others can we feel like Yahoo is gonna pray uh, answer other uh, requests for other people and and then we don't have enough faith to pray for our own requests but he's wanting us to pray for all requests at this time because he has his ears open to listen and <clears throat> due to the the battle that this is the vision regarding the battle is 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 pretty much here he wants to remind us that the battle is his but at the same time we are in prayer asking him to to um establish on earth as it is in heaven victory over our enemies <clears throat> now going back re remember the part where the zombie <clears throat> um, bit a loved one we were coming out of the helicopter and <clears throat> he was carrying a bunch of black um, suitcases that had a lot of weapons in there I think I assume it was a lot of weapons in there and um, <clears throat> he fell because the zombie kind of toppled over him and then was biting his stomach I recall that he did have a beard in the in the helicopter but when he hopped out he did not have a beard I feel like the significance of that what is if you research the word Yahuwah uses um, no beard and shirts that are cut off to the, the the waist as a embarrassment and humiliating factor for men's attire um, it has to be like long tunics is the clothing that he approves of and then um, so I was thinking something something had opened the door to cause that attack to occur okay and then um, like everybody's not going to be getting attacked I recall listening to Brandon's um, video his video is called The Last Days on YouTube. I recommend you follow him. He is the one that um, prophesied about number 45's ear being clipped. Um, so he has some in very alarming prophecies that Yahoo has been giving him regarding the famine and what's ahead. And There was this segment where he was talking about there was going to be 350 million people 
uh, the deaths. Okay, and it has, I, he feels very strongly it has a lot to do with this new virus that's going to be coming out. And um, there was these leaders, these prophets that came up and they had some supernatural abilities um, you know, who was power given to them and they were able to because um, this type of virus is where it's like worse than, than, than C19 and it's going to be even more difficult to heal from so he said in his prophecy that they just would if you got sick you would it would not be person would not make it so but there was this segment in in his um vision that he said that there was going to be these prophet the prophets that were going to have the supernatural ability to, to heal even that disease and so it kind of relates to the dream I had where he got up, he had that light blue shirt with the black pants on, and then suddenly his, when he got the zombie off of him, I wanted to go to him to assist him, or before the zombie got off of him, to sort of assist at what I could, and he said, no, don't come near. And not that he didn't want help, but I, in the dream, I was pregnant. So he didn't want me to get potentially bitten or anything. So that is why he said, um, don't come here. So we got him off, then he got up, and so, as soon as he got up, he already had the tactical gear with the helmet, with the boots, with everything on, okay? The, his, his rifle already on, on the strap, and he carried his, all those black luggages. I don't know, he carried two in each hand or so seemed like and I just walked along with him I also had the tactical gear all of a sudden didn't have regular clothes so the part where we walked all the way to the front of Target now this is not saying that's going to be these attacks are going to be established at the, the department store at Target it's talking more so about the word Target like the enemy is targeting people but he doesn't know that Yahuwah has targeted the enemy and we are targeted the enemy okay so that's the part where you need to understand you're not going to be living in fear oh my gosh this, the zombies represent the illnesses in another video I did describe my um, a, a, a dream my son received where he said that the zombies did carry the illness and it came out as a gas through the, the, um, the, the excuse me the robots and then the people turn into zombies. So I guess it, 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 his interpretation that Yahoo gave him to help him understand is that um, they were infected. And um, okay, so when he was walking towards, I was walking a little bit ahead of him because he was carrying a bunch of stuff, so it was probably heavy. So he was walking behind me a bit. I looked back and I saw the blue shirt again. But in, on his stomach, I saw the bite, and it wasn't as big, and it was actually illuminating this fiery, um, it looked like fire, but not burning him. It looked like he was healing, like a supernatural level of healing, and it all it looked like it was um, first degree, and not deep. There's no guts or anything. So, it, there is confirmation there that there is supernatural healing being established in this in the future regarding these um, this disease to certain people and I think it's obviously so obvious that it's those who call upon Yahuwah for assistance for super believe you have to have faith you can't just meander and have faith to pray for others but you don't have enough faith for yourself so um, that was the, the last bits that I wanted to mention in this one particular dream um, that relates to many other others and I feel like it's very helpful 
because why why would he say um, arm yourself with the helmet of salvation and with the sword of the spirit the sword of the spirit is the word and helmet of salvation you got to be secure securely with extra oils okay uh, saved um, call upon Yahusha and you're wondering who's Yahusha why she keeps saying Yahusha why she keeps saying Yahuwah Yahuwah is God Almighty the ones who created the heavens and the earth and Yahusha is the sun and these are Hebrew words names and this is the oldest language this is the creator of the universe's language so we're going off of the oldest book of the Bible which is the Geneva Bible 15 I believe it's 1599 we're going off of that to to and we are honoring you know when it says don't take Yahuwah's name in vain don't take God's name in vain or God, people don't even want to say God. They, they do G dash D because they feel like they want they don't want to take it in vain. It's actually more insulting to not say his name. And you're using all these other names to say his name. Okay, so God is a pagan method of, of saying of a deity. Um, it's coming from Greek. And um, Jehovah. If you research the strong number, it does not mean the Savior. Yahweh does, is also not the one. Research the strong number. Dig deeper. Research Yahuwah, Yahusha. And um, you will see. Um, and then Jesus is coming from a Greek um, person. Um, it's if they didn't have the letter J in the Hebrew alphabet. And so how in the world would it be Jesus? So there are a lot more details. I'm gonna have another video out there soon to explain thoroughly why the savior who, who died on the cross and rose again, his name is Yahusha and why the creator of the universe and his name is Yahuwah. So stay tuned with that. Ring the, tap the bell, like, and subscribe so that you can be prompted for the next video coming out. I have um, a very um, intense word coming and it has a lot to do with a snake and the alligator. It's critical. And um, they come with certain characteristics with that and attacks. And um, you don't want to miss it because you want to be prepared that you are not the tree that gets uprooted. Okay, you want to be the one that has been establishing deep roots. And, and if you are the one that has to reestablish new roots because your roots are embedded in wrong soil, poor soil, um, bad roots like your mentality the roots of the tree has a lot to do with your the mentality it's not correct it has to be you know we want mercy and grace we want to be warned so that we can change and um and and be in yahuwah's righteousness and not be in our own righteousness, self-righteousness, self-sadducee and Pharisee type of mentality. Um, just because I know this word doesn't mean I am re overly religious. Just because I'm distributing this, the, the, the lang Hebrew language doesn't mean I am living a life where I am a wannabe Jew and um incredibly religious type of person where I turn my back to those who are not the only reason why Yahoo would say turn your back away from those are the ones that are wicked and I refuse to turn from their ways so it's just very um, 
much needed to pray for discernment and to um, I am here to give the word he wants me to give everything that I receive is downloaded I did not receive it by listening to others I maybe it matches it gives me a little bit more insight about what I receive it helps very much but everything that I give you know, this on this channel is directly downloaded through this in the secret place and if he's sharing and I'm sharing a lot of commandments and laws it's because it's critical to follow it because judgment is here and judgment is for those that don't all right well I will see you on the next video Shalom